All right, we're gonna do a fun activity in Chicago right now. Eric has no idea what we're doing. This is hard because we're not supposed to look down. We're, we're supposed to draw our partner and it's like tempting not to look down. I am swimming in the ball pit. Honestly, it's because I can't get out. <laughs> All right, here's a room tour. This is our shower area, the toilet. Let's see the room. Nice queen bed with the TV, the coffee, as well as a little mini bar with water. We got some slippers and a robe. Let's see the view. Okay, not too bad. Get a nice city view. And then a little desk. Alrighty. All right guys, so I just checked into the hotel. I'm waiting for Herrick to show up since I came a few days earlier for a conference and now Herrick is gonna be joining me and we're gonna be spending his birthday in Chicago. So his birthday is actually tomorrow, October 15th, um, but today is the 14th and we're just going to kind of just explore around the city, just do something very chill. Um, unfortunately, it's been raining the past few days that I've been here and so that's why it's just been hard to walk around when it's so cold and raining. And I mean, San Francisco is cold, but not as cold as here. And the rain is just making it a little bit hard to explore around, but it's okay. We're gonna go explore. But right now, I'm actually gonna go to get some cake, maybe a cupcake because Eric's birthday is tomorrow. So I wanna surprise him with just a little goodie when he arrives, he's at the airport right now. And then yeah, we're gonna meet up together. We're gonna get a early dinner or I guess dinner um because he's coming now and it's already like two o'clock and then pretty much by the time we eat it's gonna be maybe around four so it's like an early dinner slash late lunch so we're gonna be doing that all right guys just got back to the room and so i went to magnolia bakery and they're known for their banana pudding and apparently this is a bakery in new york that started there and when we were in new york we actually did not get a chance to go there so we were trying it out this time i also got here a cheesecake and it's a vanilla cheesecake. So they said that's one of their most popular ones. So yeah, I'm gonna be waiting probably another hour until he gets into the city and then we're gonna have lunch slash dinner. Hey, we made it to the river. And basically this is where people go to go on all the cruises and stuff. But right now it's so cold. I don't think it's possible to go on there because they're mostly open um, top. And so it's gonna be freezing. But right now we're about to go get lunch at River Roast, which is right by the water. So we're gonna get to see all the boats. We just finished lunch and now we're walking along the river and enjoying the beautiful scenery of the river walk and yeah the restaurant was on the side over there it was good we had roast chicken and roast beef i would go for the beef overall it's delicious so now we're just gonna walk along the river on our way back to the hotel Good morning everybody, it's our first official full day of exploration and it is Eric's birthday today. We are at Millennium Park and of course, you know, the most popular thing about Chicago is the bean, right? Unfortunately, it is under construction. As you can see, it is fenced off, so we can't even go see it and I can't even take a photo with it because there's this big fence that covers the whole thing, so that is unfortunate. We just had brunch. It was delicious. It was at the Social Hampton. Highly recommend that place. You wanna get some nice brunch. But yeah, it's Sunday today, so we're just gonna be exploring around and see what else this park has to offer. Sad, so, so, so sad. So close, yet so far. Here is the bridge crossing over to get to the Art Institute, which is an art museum in Chicago. Art Institute of Chicago. Got our tickets to the Art Institute. All right, we got ourselves some gelato. And look how pretty it is. They have a little flower. And I got myself the coffee flavor and the stracciatella. And I got, also got the stracciatella. However you pronounce it. But let's try it out. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, I had gelato like every day in Italy, 
it satisfies the craving. Mm. All right, we're gonna do a fun activity in Chicago right now. Eric has no idea what we're doing. No idea. Let's see if you can figure out. All right, babe. We're gonna go in to Sneakerhead University. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Hmm. I got Herrick these white shoes, brand new white shoes, and we are going to customize them at Sneakerhead University. So these are the white shoes. And so they gave us this little card where you kind of start designing your shoe and you can use the color pencils that they have to kind of start designing. We're gonna be looking at some inspo as we wander around the store. So here's some inspiration photos. I like this one, this one's super cool. It says by a famous artist. They also do some, you can do just a typical one if you want, or you can get super creative with it. Draw on the shoe. So let's see what we plan to do. All right, so these are some things we can put on the shoe. They have some glitter diamonds in here, different colors. And you can, so you can make it super bling. And then they also have shoe charms you can add on. They also have these as well you can attach on the shoe and here's paints to color the shoe and then these are little tags oh kind of like the off-white ones that's really cool i would definitely add one of these to my shoe and then they also have the shoelaces in different colors so you can add the shoelaces on here so many options to choose from oh these are cool and then if you like, you can add some luxury fabric. So they even have like coach fabrics, LV and Fendi. And then they also have patches. Super cool. So you could totally customize it to look like a brand name shoe if you want. Here is glitter laces. You can add glitter laces on there. All right, so we did our first step, which is removing the laces. And now we're going to wipe it down with this solution. Now that I have my stencils, I put on my fabric. So I chose the Dior fabric. And now I'm going to cut it out. How are you doing so far? Good. Just outlining. Outlining. All right. Let's finish up. All right, here's my shoe. I now put on the fabric and then it's glued in. So I have this tape over it just to hold it in place for a little bit. Right now, I'm planning to put diamonds on the swoosh of the back of the shoe. So I decided to go for some black diamonds and then I'm gonna glue it on. All right, I added my bling to the swooshes. And now I want to paint the air part of the shoe and then I'll be done. All right guys, here's my final product. I got Dior pattern on there. And then I did some bling on the back. And then did double shoelaces, two-tone colors. This is how the shoe turned out and I love it. I am all about minimalism and that way it's easier to wear with other things. But I also added like unique touches too, like the bling on the back and the double shoelaces. So I'm excited to wear it out. So we're now at the exhibit where you can see all the shoes on display. We are at the Hype Mart. <laughs> let's go upstairs and see what's up there. All right, let's go upstairs and see what is up here. All right, let's see what's here. A little phone booth. Here's some shoes. This is a nice photo opportunity. Let's take photos. So actually the inside has LV in here. Ooh, it's a Supreme photo booth. That's cool. Alright, here's more of the exhibit. Lots of cool photo opportunities in here. So all the signatures in here. Herrick singing here. Oh, we're gonna have a pop star. The Reese's Puff Cactus Room. Travis Scott. That's the flower room now. Ooh. That's cute. Here is my shoes on my feet. 
They look really good actually. So clean. <laughs> They're known for their steaks, of course. So they have many different options to choose from. And our food finally came out. So here's the mashed potatoes with three different flavors. Our steaks, filet mignon, and shrimp. Let's dig in. I'm gonna try the filet mignon. Happy birthday to young pup. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. <laughs> Yay! Good morning, you guys. So today is our second full day of exploration, and we are now at an hotel cafe. And I had no idea this was here, but it was right in front of our hotel, so we're like, hmm. Let's check it out and see what they have here. And of course, everything has to tell on it, so we have to try it out. So we will show you guys what we got. You can even customize your own Nutella. So it's a super unique souvenir for anyone who has any Nutella lover in their life. All right, I got myself some hot chocolate. Let's try it out. It just tastes like a hot chocolate. <laughs> Does not taste like a Nutella hot dog, but let's try the crepe. How is the crepe? Is it good? It's good. It's not crispy though. Oh. Um, like French crepe. French crepe for sure then. Very rich in chocolate. I'll try it with some strawberries. Yeah. It's good. Strawberries are fresh. Of course, there has to have tons of Nutella on it. And we also got the right. espresso. Like this is the espresso. Let's have you try this one out too. Tons of whipped cream. <laughs> oh. oh, and they put tons of Nutella in there too, of course. You can see it all over. All right, let's try out the crate. It's so good. It's like chewy actually more than anything. Very chewy. Try some gelato with that. Nutella gelato. The gelato's good. Mmm. Oh yeah. I like so that. So we made it to Willis Tower, which is a very land, uh, popular landmark in Chicago. But before we do that, we're gonna go to the Color Factory. Look at this cool lobby. This place looks really modern. Let's go find where the Color Factory is. We made it to the Color Factory. And what's cool is that it's Halloween themed right now. So you can see all these spider webs. Let's go in. We made it to the color factory and look at the cool little pumpkin for Halloween. We just checked in our bags and they also have a little station for jelly beans. Hmm, let's see what it is. So of course, Harry jumps straight to the jelly beans. We are allowed to pick one baggie for ourselves. Let's grab one. One packet per person. So don't get too tempted. Mm hmm. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the color factory. We are allowed to pick any color, and it comes with a treat. What are you gonna choose? The mint one? Like, I don't know if it's pistachio or blue. Mmm, probably pistachio. I'm gonna go for, hmm, maybe a pink one. Let's try this one. And I think it is raspberry. Now entered the maze room. We gotta figure our way out of here. And so far, very confused. 
Tons of mirrors, different holes everywhere. Are we gonna be able to get out? I don't know, let's see. All right, we're now in this horns room. It's musical lights with horns. Interesting. So we got ourselves a viewfinder and packets of candy. So we have to label them with whatever color and flavor. So let's see. So we got five packets and we have to label it with a color. So like for example, if we feel like a candy tastes like grapes, then you label it purple. And then they also have this viewfinder, which you can look through and they have different colors and images, I guess. So let's see. Let's start off with the first packet. Packet number one, let's go. And they said the candy's all white, so you won't be able to know the color. Your, your candy's yellow? Oh, my candy is yellow too. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see, it's like a yellowy color. Oh, it tastes like cinnamon. It tastes like cinnamon. So here's the answers. I only got two right, which is number five and number three. How many did you get right? One. One. <laughs> you got a sugar high, I only got one right. <laughs> Balloon room. With all the floating balloons. Oh, whoa. This is Lappy Tappy. So we get treats. And it is also a confetti room. They have confetti all over the floors. This is April. 17, my birthday. I'm an Aries. Eric is October 15. Ah, oh, that sounds like you. October color signifies love, beauty, and balance. Yeah. Colored bodies and pieces, right? Cotton candy. Cotton candy, that's cute. <laughs> so we have to fill up these two columns, looking at our partner, so we can see whether whatever stands out to us, whether it's your partner's eyes, hair, clothes, or accessories. So they have color pencils here. Oh, color pencils here. And for me, Herrick's eyes stands out to me. So I'm gonna draw out his eyeballs. So Herrick's favorite color is white, and I'm trying to draw white on a white square, and obviously it's not working. But he gets the gist. Happiness, so I'm gonna put sunshine. So we're supposed to draw our partner in one line. One line, babe. You have to draw one line only. This is hard, because we're not supposed to look down. We're, we're supposed to draw our partner, and it's like tempting not to look down. But they said we had to draw in one straight line. <laughs> okay, we're exchanging our portraits. Interesting. So we got the Halloween theme here. Looks a little creepy, low key. <laughs> I am swimming in the ball pit. Honestly, it's because I can't get out. <laughs> I cannot get up. Ah! It's a struggle. Oh my god. Herrick is over there trying to get up as well. I think I'm just gonna sit here, you know? Enjoy the ball pit. Coconut ice cream, a melon ice cream. All right, yeah, truly work out. But we got some ice cream to end off the um, time at the Color Museum. And I got the melon, it's delicious. All right, that is the end. Go to the sky deck, which is the top of the tower. All right, we got ourselves our tickets to the sky deck. All right, let's head up to the top of the tower. There's 103 floors that we have to go up, but let's make our way. Ooh. We have entered the Chicago subway station. Michael Jordan about to get a slam dunk, but nope, he's been blocked by player Harry Hernandez. We made it to the top of Chicago. Willis Tower. Do you want a new one?
There's a helicopter over there. We made it to the top of Willis Tower. You see all of Chicago here. Unfortunately, it's a very gloomy day today. But the city skyline is gorgeous. You can see everything. Alright, we made it to the Wonder Museum. This is an art museum, immersive art. So let's check it out. Alright, so this is an immersive art museum. And so they use our faces to go along with the art. So you can see Harry's face. <laughs> they like cover your eyes and lips, it's so funny. So we turn these dials. Changes the colors. Ooh, that's cool. Are you living your dream? I'd say so. What about you? Yeah. yeah. So this one, I guess I have to paint the next painting. So I'll use my hands. And it paints the next painting. Oh, she's coming alive. You can see her. Whoa, how cool. All the lights. Woo. Break dance. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Let it dissolve in your mouth. Alright, yep. so this is the miracle berry. You're supposed to taste this and it's supposed to alter your taste. And these are not supposed to be a sour after. Let's see. Yep. Garbage cans here if you all need it. So this is like a, a soft. Okay, cool. It is a wafer. It's a little wafer. So it, it's known to alter taste buds to turn sour things into sweet. Here's a sorry. Yeah, people in Africa sweet. use it for health benefits. So if someone has like a defic deficiency or like a dietary restriction, nope, you didn't do anything. There's going to be a DJ. Mmm. <laughs> oh, there you go. We are in an infinity room right now. Tons of mirrors. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. All right, guys, we are going to somewhere I would never expect myself to land in. Um, we're going to McDonald's. Yep, I typically don't eat McDonald's, but I thought to myself, you know what? Let's try something unique. And you know what? My feed, my Instagram feed, and TikTok feed knew exactly what I needed to do, which was check out the McDonald's Global, which is a restaurant that has all the foods of McDonald's unique to every country. Obviously it doesn't have every country, but it has majority of some, so let's try it out. All right, here we are at McDonald's. Let's check it out. All right, so we made it to the Global Favorites. I thought there's gonna be more, I'm sad. So they have the Saudi Arabia Big Tasty Mushroom. This is the Mushroom Deluxe McCrispy. This is the filet fish from Japan. Ooh, Korea has the salted caramel dip cone as well as the salted caramel mixer with Oreos. And then there's the sweet potato fries. Canada's cinnamon cream mini donut as well as their maple caramel mini donut. The Biscoffs. Ooh. White chocolate pops. Chocolate hazelnut pops and the mix. Ooh. I kind of want to get like one of everything, honestly. All right, so this is that shrimp burger from Japan. This one is the Saudi Arabia burger. Saudi Arabia burger and the mushroom burger. And then here's the donuts, the fries, and the McFlurry. So out of all things we tried so far, definitely the McFlurry from South Korea. Mm, it's the best, so good. Right now we are at the Chicago Athletic Association. About to have dinner at Cindy's Rooftop, which is a rooftop restaurant. It was hard to get our reservations here, but luckily I managed to do it. Let's go. Here is the view of the Chicago waterfront at Cindy's Rooftop. It looks like a little boy. That's the closest we're gonna get to it. All right, we got ourselves a drink. It's called the Sleep. It's a dream. It's a dream. It has a little bit of like a woody, smoky scent, which is so interesting. Why is that? But it's delicious. It almost tastes like a toned down lemonade. Cheers. So we got ourselves the chicken and the prawns. It's a little spicy is what he said, and it comes with a side of bread to dip with. Let's dig in. 
get ourselves the grilled chicken. And they have this like almost mashed potato-y type of base. Mm. Wow. Mm. Good. Good morning guys, so this is our last full day in Chicago and I just had brunch with one of my internet friends in real life, Melanin and Medicine, so seeing Courtney in real life was so fun. We got to chat a lot and I'm convincing her to move to California, so let's see if she ever stops by, but we are now just walking to the Shed Aquarium and it's so cool getting to see all the skyscrapers around me. And the sun finally came out today on our last full day, which is awesome because yesterday was pretty cold. But it's been beautiful, and that's why we've been enjoying our walk. So let's go on over to the aquarium. Right, we are on our way to the Shed Museum, almost there. And it's been a gorgeous walk. So all well worth it to go to this aquarium. All right, we made it to the Shed Aquarium. Let's go on in. Convince Cherik to touch the stingrays. Uh, they don't like you. They don't like you, they're all swimming away from you. These are the beluga whales. And they're huge! Whoa! We're gonna have dinner at the girl and the goat. Let's go on in. So we ordered ourselves the goat and pinatas. And Herrick has never tried goat. I've never tried goat actually. So I'm pretty curious how this is gonna be. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Cut myself a little piece here. Mmm. Wow. Honestly, it tastes like minced pork or minced beef. Like, I cannot tell it's, um... Some sauce on there. I can't tell it's that. It's goat. Yeah, yeah you get the sweet stuff on mm. it. The sauce is so the good. The cilantro sauce. So good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to young pup. Happy birthday to you. All right, we're about to get some Chicago deep dish pizza at this really popular spot called Luminati, so let's go. Let's see all this hype about deep dish pizza. All right, we got our deep dish pizza. We got two minis. This is the classic and this is the Lou. Let's try it out. Let's try the classic. So much cheese. Mm. It's really good. 